New month, new key. Say it with me. New month, new key. Friends, colleagues, and students ask me about how I practice. Having a key of the month is just one way I get things done. Does that mean that I spend all of my time just practicing that key? Yes and no. Everything is related to that key in some way. Have time to work on a chord progression? Why not do a 2-5-1 in that key? Already have a bunch of licks to learn? Trying to work on relative major and minor? Why don't you learn them just all in that key? I don't have a pointer, I just kind of have a selfie stick, so I'm going to use that. Sorry. Today is March 3rd. These are on kind of like a two-day delay because of my production cycle. It is the only Sunday I have free for the rest of the month. Every other Sunday I have something to do or something that I have to get done. So, what am I doing today? I'm really going to sit down and start learning this key. I start every year on concert C and then go through the jazz cycle, up a fourth every single month. That means that March we're in B-flat concert. Why use concert terms? Habit? You'll notice that I put a key next to every week as well. I'll get to that in a minute. Long tones. You have to do it. Technique. How about some scales? I used to be terrible at my scales. I knew all of them, but I didn't really know them as well as I thought I did. My second year at university, I almost failed a scale test. But I knew all my scales. Not the same thing as actually mastering them. What about those technical studies you learn in the books? Instead of doing them in all 12 keys like they want you to, why don't you just get really good at them in one key for every single month? Range. Kind of obvious. Okay, not really, but I can make it work. Every single day, I sight read in the key of the month. I'll probably video myself doing that later. Well, what about tunes and transcriptions? A shortcoming of this system, but you can make it work in other ways. One key can represent multiple things. You can go to relative major, relative minor. How about you try using the different modes related to that? Why not try the tritone of that? Why not do the dominant? Mixolydian? If I have extra time, I have a key of the week. That's just another way for me to keep myself engaged. Extra time to sight read? Key of the week. Need more time on long tones? Key of the week. How much time do you devote to it? The same amount of time you're going to devote to a warm-up or just tone and technique? Other things like that. This doesn't encompass everything that you practice, just the things that are fundamental and rudimentary. At some point, you're going to get really, really sick of this. So what do you do? Get creative. Make yourself do this. The limitations beget creativity. Most of the time, our practice is just so surface level that you can't really dig in to what you need to get done. Some months are going to be easier than others. Everything relates to either that note, that key, however you want to look at it, and however it works for you. Maybe it doesn't work for you, but if you don't try, you'll never know. We all talked about virtuosity on your instrument. How about virtuosity in a key? Take the time. Do it right. Don't just get through it. Going to end my rant right there. This is all I'm going to be doing today. B flat's probably my most familiar, so it's not going to be that bad for this month. I'm pretty thankful for that, actually. Pick a key. Get to it. See you tomorrow.